My name is Chuck McDermott, and I'm a singer-songwriter of the Americana genre. And if you're a writer, probably in any form, you're probably pretty fascinated by what makes us tick, what in the human spirit makes us unique. And in my case, I've been at this for literally about 50 years, playing music and writing. And along the way, I had the incredible good luck to stumble into having a mentor, a person who was highly accomplished and who became my friend and my teacher. And uh, his name is John Stewart. Now, John, as a very young man, was a member of, of what at the time was the insanely popular group, the Kingston Trio. But he went on to have a 40, 50 year solo career in which he really has claimed to being one of the founding fathers of folk rock or the Americana music genre. He was a prolific, prolific songwriter. A theme that turned up in his writing a lot was the importance of, of dreams. And it wasn't so much interpreting our dreams at night, our dreams in our sleep. It was the importance of having a dream, an ambition, and a goal to go after with a vengeance. And so the word dream turns up in a lot of his song titles. The one that is no doubt the most famous is a song he wrote called Daydream Believer, which was a huge number one hit for a group called The Monkees. And then many other artists have had chart-topping renditions of the same song. And you can go into any karaoke bar in any city on the planet, and there will be somebody who will sing Daydream Believer. I had the good fortune of singing it many nights with him, with the composer of the song. And, you know, John told us two stories about that song, one of which was on a given day, this would have been in the late 60s, he sat down to dinner with his wife and she said, honey, how was your day? And he said, I don't know, I just wrote one song today, Daydream Believer. <laughs> which turned out to, of course, be a big event for him down the road. The other one was when the producer for the Monkees came to him and said, John, we're doing this TV show. Would you have a song for this group? He suggested Daydream Believer. And they came back and said, the band loves the song, the label loves the song, the TV people love the song. But there's a word in it you can't use. And John said, what is that? And he said, you say funky. You say now you know how funky I can be. And, we, and John said, well, what do they want to change it to? And he said, now you know how happy I can be. And John said, oh, that changes the whole meaning of the tune. That's terrible. And the producer said, John, if we don't change it, they're not going to use the song. And John said, I kind of like happy. <laughs> <laughs>